A physician, while surgically exploring a hernia on a 34-year-old male, observed that it began just superior to the inguinal ligament and lateral to the conjoint tendon. What type of hernia did she need to repair? In this case, you'll be looking at a direct inguinal hernia. Oftentimes, they'll discuss the inguinal ligament, and it has to be above it to be an inguinal hernia, and if it's below it, it would be femoral hernia. If it is a lumbar hernia, it would be posterior abdominal wall, and an indirect and direct are the only two that you have to choose from. In this case, the conjoint tendon was labeled. Oftentimes, they will either um, discuss the inferior epigastric vessels, but I think the conjoint is also a useful structure for you to have an awareness of where that is. When part of the inside of the body pushes through a weakness in the surrounding muscle or tissue wall, it can cause a bulge under the skin. This is a hernia. Hernias are usually found in the abdomen. The most common form is known as an inguinal hernia, where part of the bowel pushes through a weakness in the groin, called the inguinal canal. This is a passageway from the abdomen to the scrotum. Inguinal hernias mostly affect men, and are increasingly common the older you get. However, they can also affect infant boys. Untreated hernias usually get bigger and more painful with time especially when lifting. Eventually, the muscle around the hernia may become so tight that the blood supply to the tissues inside the hernia is cut off. This is known as strangulation and requires emergency surgery. Hernia treatment usually involves some form of surgical operation.